Hey guys, so I am back with our second holiday look. I told you guys that I was going to be doing about three looks. I did a gold look on Tuesday. Today is Friday, so I'm doing this cranberry look. I hope that you guys can see it. My camera has been having a hard time focusing today, as well have I. As well. As have I, is what I meant to say. <laughs> I've had five cups of coffee and nothing to eat all day and it's one o'clock in the afternoon so I apologize. I hope you guys enjoy this look. This look was a blast to do. I told you guys I was either going to do champagne or cranberry or I was going to do gold and cranberry and I chose to do champagne because I had already done a gold look. This look, uh, it can be very, very, very dramatic the darker that you go in the outer corner, but I kept it pretty tame as far as the color and the intensity with, and I decided to add fake lashes. I wanted to do a look with fake lashes so that you guys could maybe feel a little bit more spunky with this look, but of course, if you don't want to do lashes, by all means, don't do them. They can kind of be a hassle if you're not very familiar with putting on fake lashes. They're definitely one of those things that take a little bit of practice. So do not in any way, shape, or form feel obligated to do lashes. I just wanted to do them for you so that you guys could see this look with lashes because I feel like it just totally like opens up the eye and just makes it look gorgeous. I did just want to give a shout out to my friend Ashley. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following me since the very beginning, but I stated that basically my main goal was to just make one person feel beautiful again or get them to fall in love with makeup. And Ashley let me know, she tagged me on Facebook yesterday, saying how much she appreciated my videos. They had helped her fall back in love with makeup again. So that makes me really, really happy. So I just had to share that with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this look. I have a crazy busy weekend. I hope you guys have a crazy busy weekend and enjoy the holidays. Can you believe they're almost over? It's like two weeks away. It just blows my mind. So be nice to one another. Have fun with your family and friends. And again, you guys, if there's anything specific you'd like to see, for sure let me know. Make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe. And I'm so excited to show you guys this look. So if you want to see how I got it, go ahead and keep on watching. And I will see you guys probably sometime next week. Okay, you guys, I love you. Harlan loves you. And remember to be the change that you want to see in the world. Hey you guys, so today we're doing our cranberry look. As always, I've started with one eye. We're going to start with our Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm going to pat this all over the eyelid. I do not swipe this back and forth because it does end up packing more product onto certain areas and swiping off product on other areas and it just makes it look patchy and gross. Taking my E40 and Laura Mercier's Fresco, it's kind of this beautiful taupey, mauve color. I'm going to go ahead and put this in our crease or right above our crease for our transition color. We are going to end up using a darker cranberry and kind of a burgundy, mahogany color a little bit later on. So this is going to help us blend that out so that we don't get any harsh lines or any harsh, tr harsh transitions while we're blending. Now taking Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek and any eyeshadow brush that you have, it doesn't really matter, we're going to go ahead and pack this onto the eyelid. You don't need to be too precise with this. You can do as much or as little as you want to. I do a pretty fair amount back and forth, back and forth, just packing that all over the lid. However, not taking it too far up into the crease, okay? I take it just a little bit, but not too far. Now, any mixing medium that you have, I like MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to pick up some more of that Shimma Shimma on the same brush. And as you can see here, I'm going to spray it just to wet that a little bit. It's going to make it more pigmented and easier to spread. Now I hold my eyelid taunt. You don't normally want to do this, but what this does in this look is it smooths out the skin. So it stretches out any wrinkles that you have, and then when you let go, it creates this beautiful, crinkly, foily look that I absolutely love. I'm just going to pack a little bit more on there to make it just a little more intense. It is 
gorge. I absolutely love this look. Now taking the e.l.f. palette, I got this like two years ago. I'm going to take that beautiful cranberry and then there's that deeper, darker burgundy mahogany that I was telling you about. And on a pencil brush, I'm just going to pack that into the outer corner and the outer crease. Now, these colors are, um, they're beautiful. However, they have a ton of fallout, so don't worry about that. I don't do my concealer before just be, just for this purpose, so, so yeah. So taking the darker color, I'm just going to pounce that on the very outer lid, right in the outer V, and I'm going to pack it and then smooth it out. Pack it, smooth it, pack it, smooth it. Not picking up any other extra product at all. Now taking a clean eyeshadow brush. This is just a big fluffy brush. I'm going to blend that out. That is where this that transition color comes in. This is going to make it so easy to blend this color out. And because this color has a little bit of shimmer in it, it'll blend even easier. And then taking the E40 with that transition color on it but no extra product I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out just a little bit more cleaning up that fallout with a makeup remover towelette I'm gonna go ahead and clean up underneath my eye just a smidge you can see how that color can kind of look like you got socked in the face so you don't want to bring it too high this is a normal step for me you guys using my physician's formula 2-in-1 eye booster I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner this is something that I've done in almost every single makeup look that I've done so I oh know I have done it in every single makeup look I've done so far so I'm not going to show you guys my whole entire process, but if you would like a specific video, a broken down video of exactly how I do my eyeliner, let me know. I can do that for you. But I pretty much just do a standard medium to medium thick line, and then I do a little wing or a kitten flick on the outer corner and drag that in. Pretty standard. Now I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with Bobbi Brown's Gel Eyeliner. I've been noticing that this has been sticking a little bit better than my Urban Decay 24-7 in Perversion. So I'm just kind of pushing this into the lash line and then I'm going to lower my lower, <laughs> going to line my lower lid with this as well. And then as always, I set this with a black eyeshadow using Maybelline. Let's see what one was this. This is the Colossal Volume Express. This is the purple or the yellow tube with the purple writing. I'm just going to do a couple coats of mascara because I'm going to show you guys how I do my fake lashes. Yay! Again, if you want a completely broken down video on this, how to trim them, how to place them, and then how to put glue on them and place them, let me know. So these are Red Cherry 43s. I usually use 415s, but I've been loving these once I get them trimmed to my eye. So I place it right in the middle of the eyelid, and then I secure the outer corner. You want to give the glue, you guys, just a heads up, you want to give the glue about 20-30 seconds to get tacky before you place it. Otherwise, your eyelashes are just going to slide around everywhere. So I place it in the middle. I place the outer quarter, corner and I pull it out as far as I want it to go and then I place the inner corner. Then taking my tweezers, I just clamp down on the eyelid all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner just to make sure that they're really like nice and welded to my lashes. Then taking my beauty blender and my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. I went a little bit lighter today. I'm going to go ahead and conceal and highlight underneath my eye. So again, this is a concealer and a highlighter. That is why I love it. This also has a technology not to settle into any fine lines or wrinkles. It's pretty amazing stuff. It's about, I want to say it's like $19. So it's totally, totally worth it. I love it. And then I'm going to just tap a little of this right on the bridge of my nose. Not a ton, just enough to highlight. And as always, I am going to set this with my uh, MAC Emphasize just on a big fluffy shadow brush. This is pretty much a go-to for me. It's what I do every single time. It's the only highlighting powder that I've ever used that I've loved. So unfortunately, not drugstore, but this is my go-to. It's what I use every single day when I do my makeup so all right now taking sable out of the Lorac Pro palette I'm gonna go ahead and push this into my lower lash line 
I don't swipe back and forth because that will create fallout and I did just do my concealer so I don't want to mess that concealer up anymore I want to just be as neat and tidy as possible so I just push that in there I don't bring it down very far because again you don't want to look like you got punched in the face or you don't want that to look clean so get as close to the lash line as possible and then taking any smudge brush you're gonna go ahead and smudge back and forth back and forth until you get the look that you're looking for remember to take your time I promise you you will achieve it now taking shima shima on this adorable little eyeshadow shader brush it is so cute and it's perfect for this I start right on the middle of the brow bone and then I pull that outwards and then without any additional product I bring it inwards okay that's going to give you an instant eye lift when you start right on the middle of the brow bone literally just drags your eye right up it's amazing and then I'm just going to place this on the inner corner to help open the eye up a little bit if you've never done this before you guys take the time to do it you'll love it this is another mundane activity for me when I do my makeup. This is the only bronzer, this is Hoola by Benefit, that I have ever used that does not make me look muddy. If you don't understand what I mean by muddy, I'm sorry. I don't know any other way to explain it besides if it literally looks like I just smudged mud all over my cheeks it's gross I don't do a really heavy contour I just dust this all over my cheekbones I push it up into my hairline on my forehead bring it down on my temples go right underneath my jawbone and down my neck then I take this amazing fluffy brush from elf they call this a what was it uh fluffy concealer brush or something like that it kind of cracked me up but I just use this to go right down the sides of the bridge of my nose I do not need to do this I don't have a huge nose but I love the way that this makes my nose look so you can pretty much create instant plastic surgery when you contour your nose <laughs> then I go right underneath my nose and right underneath my bottom lip to make that bottom lip look fuller and this is just out of the six color palette by BH cosmetics it's that really beautiful rosy color I just take a blush brush and dust this all over my cheeks. I make sure to go um, not on the apple of my cheeks, but right above the apple of my cheeks. My face doesn't need to look any rounder, so I tend to start higher up and then drag it all the way up into the hairline. Now I'm taking Kitten by Stila, and on a clean blush brush, I'm going to put this right on the very, very top of my cheekbones. That's going to highlight that area, and it's going to look, the cheekbones look even more prominent. It just kind of, again, any highlighting is going to kind of give the face a little bit of a facelift without actually having the facelift. This is a Jordana Cosmetics lip liner. This is in mauve. I, with a very light hand, I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to kind of fill them in just a little bit. You're not going to be able to see a huge difference, but I do end up just kind of packing that color on pretty good. Now I'm taking this super cheap LA Colors lip gloss from the dollar store. It's this really beautiful burgundy purple lip gloss. It's got some sparkle in it. It's gorgeous. But again, these didn't have a name. I'm sorry. Again, it was cheap and from the dollar store. So what do you want from me? Okay, you guys, so that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending the time with me to, uh, to just kind of see the things that I'm creating. I'll see you guys next week. Remember to like and subscribe. All right, you guys, love you. Bye.